Texas Annunciation House happened this morning. Both parties showed their evidence to decide whether the documents requested by the AG's office will be delivered by the Annunciation House or not. ABC 7's Ediberto Perez was at the hearing and joins us live with the story. Ediberto. Good evening, Paul Stephanie. During the hearing, District Judge Francisco X. Dominguez had some heated arguments against the defense because he thinks the Attorney General's office's goal was never to negotiate with the Annunciation House. Director Ruben Garcia also said they are still concerned because they think these efforts and the lawsuit are not about wanting to access documents, but more about wanting to close down Annunciation House. I'll be honest with you. When the three representatives of the Attorney General showed up at the door of Annunciation House, I had never heard of something called request to examine. The director of the Annunciation House, Ruben Garcia, also told us three volunteers have left the Annunciation House since this lawsuit was filed because they did not want to risk the possibility that somehow this entire process could pull them into some kind of criminal type of liability. Attorneys representing the Texas Attorney General's office said during the hearing, the main interest they have is to learn how non-governmental organizations at the border like Annunciation House are operating. Texas Governor Greg Abbott called for an investigation on this issue over a year ago, according to attorney Ryan Bash. But when he said all they wanted was investigate this issue, get the documents requested, and negotiate with Annunciation House, Judge Dominguez responded this. Well, hold on. This is the part where you're starting to offend my intelligence. Um, you did not offer to negotiate. You did not offer to act in good faith. That's the whole reason why I granted, why this court granted the temporary restraining order. Because your response, the Attorney General's response, was an unequivocal, rude, and unprofessional. Judge Dominguez also said after what he learned and heard during Thursday's hearing, he noticed Annunciation House's willingness to cooperate with them in a meaningful, respectful, and professional way that could protect both parties' interests. And District Judge Dominguez did not rule anything during the hearing as he will review all documents and motions filed in this case, as well as the arguments attorneys Bash and Wesevich had today after Ruben Garcia was the only person who testified during the hearing. Stephanie? All right, thank you, Eddie. And for the latest updates on this ongoing case, as well as other breaking and developing news in the